Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Almost uh, good afternoon for uh, for the Spanish people. I'm in charge of wrapping up, of closing up these uh, events, and I'll do this as uh, the co-founder of Fundación Lealtad and also as the president of a company, uh, Grupo Mutua, and president of the Mutua Madrileña group, because they both use the work of the monitors in order to determine the destination of their uh, donations. So as a co-founder of Fundación Lealtad, I'm very happy to have uh, achieved the image of the monitors nowadays, and I hope that this type of events contribute to creating this image of the uh, monitors. Uh, the NGOs, um, NGOs monitors go beyond a simple uh, finance auditing. They analyze many aspects that are important to the donors, such as the governance, the transparency, or the correct management. Also, monitors work with the third sector in order to instill some uh, trustworthiness, and they need to be aware of the new demands of societies. Uh, there are new ways of uh, fundraising. There are new issues that can uh, come up, come about, and we need to give an answer to such problems. Social organizations are evolving, and they need to be uh, assessed by clear standards, and these standards also need to evolve. This is why this type of sessions are so important, because we need to listen to all the uh, all the parties involved so that we can ad adjust to these criteria. The NGOs, the donors, the media, uh, etc., the monitors uh, need to be aligned and it's important for them to work together to those uh, to the same purposes in the meetings such as the ones that we are holding today and the ones that will be celebrated in the coming days in Madrid, push the consolidation of the uh, monitors in different countries we have had 35 countries uh, listening to this event, and they all look for having a figure similar to that of the monitors in their own countries. We have been lucky enough to have the support of BBB, uh, and uh, we each country has a different environment, and the monitors need to adapt their analysis to their countries. If COA has um, a network of uh, many countries that are as diverse as uh, Spain, Germany, uh, Ukraine, etc., and and you might think that there are not many similarities between these countries, but we have many things in common. First of all, the assessment of NGOs is growing. The interest among donors, companies, and media is increasing, and obviously, the interest among NGOs is doing so to um, despite the great differences between the regions, they all work with certain principles that are common, that are universal and applicable to NGOs. And I would even dare to say that they're applicable to any type of institution, whether they are charities or um, or uh, profit-driven. The monitors have a double, a twofold purpose. They improve the um, development of the companies, and they also offer information to society so that the cooperation with the third sector is better. When we define the purpose of Fundación Lealtad, we focus in the creation of trust and raising trust in order to cooperate better with the NGOs. So the, the um, information of the third sector held by the monitors is a very important resource in order to put in val into value the work of the NGOs. In a social context where there is little trust in the institutions, the monitors perform a very rigorous analysis to demonstrate that NGOs um, are trustworthy, that their work is important for the society, and the third sector needs to be strong and robust in order to achieve a more fair society. Also, the institutional donors are very important. We have heard them today, too. I shared many of their viewpoints. Um, 
as presented in the panel earlier, from the area of uh, corporate social responsibility in Mutu Madrileña and from Fundación Lealtad, we have established several um, lines of work of cooperation with different NGOs. Uh, we devote many uh, millions to supporting children, uh, people with disabilities, um, victims of gender violence, and to many other issues, hand in hand with uh, social organizations which are the best um, equipped to know what the problems are in their communities. With some of them, we cooperate directly through mid-term programs focusing in issues such as uh, the uh, human trafficking, um, gender violence, etc. With many others, we do we cooperate through our annual call for um, social aid programs that has been growing over the years since we started this Call. Uh, 11 years ago, we have supported around 250 social entities in the development of over 300 projects that have supported about th uh, 350,000 people. The number of NGOs is high in our country, as in many others, uh, other countries in our environment, and the great number makes it difficult to know the sector in depth and to uh, choose the right projects to support. So having the monitors and the work that they carry out is key for us to help those who need it the most. Uh, whether we are in the roles of donors, collaborators, etc. Because every time we need to make a decision, we need to have uh, an objective and updated information in order to prioritize and to do the right thing to the extent possible. This is why when it comes to our call, um, Mm, having the seal is a very important factor. I do not want to take more of your time, but I hope that this session has served to put the focus in the uh, monitoring organizations that might not be very well known outside the third sector, but they do add value to society, and we expect society to uh, recognize and acknowledge their value. Uh, the NGOs deserve their, our trust, and they prove this on a daily basis uh, through their high level of transparency and the analysis that they carry out of their activities um, the, made by the monitors. This information is also public. It's free. Uh, the access is free to that information, and we need to uh, be very well informed and to ensure that the uh, cooperation is efficient. I hope that this session has also been fruitful for the monitors uh, who are here with us and who will be devoting several days to uh, hard work in Madrid, and I hope that they have the time to enjoy some spare time while during their stay here in Madrid. Thank you very much to all of you.